And we are live. How are we doing, everybody? I'm just waiting for um, uh, our special guest and Mike to pop up. I hope they got the uh, the stream for it. Today we're going to do something different. Today we're going to be uh, talking with, with Charlie from uh, Cooking Secrets for Men and also with Mike, my partner. And we're going to be talking about uh, Mediterranean way of eating and how that co can coincide with keto. So as soon as they get here, we will start. Uh, we're going to keep this closed, just two to three of us up here. So uh, we're going to try to get this thing going. And then also we're going to be, uh, we'll take some questions later on. We're not going to be up long. It's going to keep it, uh, keep it simple. And let's see where everybody is. Jason, I, I don't know. For some reason, Jason, you were blocked. I don't know why or how, but I, I took care of it for something. I don't know if, if somebody else did it to you or uh, been Nightbot. I'm still trying to work my way through Nightbot here. So let's see here. Hello, Paige. Hi. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Oh, can't complain. Nobody will listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll listen. There I'll you go. Listen. So, so Mike um, uh, delayed a little bit. So here I am. No problem. How you doing? Okay. I'm doing good. Good, 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 good. Weather? The weather is outside is frightful. <laughs> I, you know, for some odd reason, I thought you were going to say that. Did you? <laughs> Darn. I'm that predictable, huh? Already. I, I, I didn't I know just, you knew me that well. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yep, I know. As soon as I said that, I said, yep, yeah, if, she, if she says frightful, we're we're rolling here. <laughs> uh, hey, dude, how you doing? Mike, Mike, the dude, kitchen and grills in, inside here. I'm just waiting for Charlie to pop up. And we're going to try something different today. Uh, what's, what, uh, what's the big guy doing? Is he cooking? He's standing over me now. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just getting something to drink and get out of here from walking the dogs. So I, will, I will relinquish my chair to the, the guy that knows what he's doing. <laughs> hey, and don't be frightful with the weather, okay? Okay. <laughs> Let me talk to this spam person real quick. Oh, don't. Mm -hmm. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Senior Charlie. All right. Thank you. Evening, gentlemen. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> I think he's dealing with the with the prank call. Medwood Barbecue. How are we doing? We're just telling everybody that we're going to do something different today. We're going to uh, keep it close to the three of us here. All right. And, and what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about Mediterranean and how it's going to play with what I'm doing with keto. And give somebody, a, you know, give everybody a different uh, alternative. <clears throat> just thinking that keto is just one way. It's not. So, right. uh, Charlie has oh, yeah. a lot of experience with it. So, how you doing, Charlie? Good, Mike. What shirt do you have on today? Last week you had an Eagle shirt on, so I wanted to rip off your. Whoa. Atlanta United. Now, okay. the Eagle shirt that I had on was not the Philadelphia Eagles. It was. Well, dude, thank Georgia you. The Georgia Southern Eagles. Okay, well that's okay. Then never mind. <laughs> I'm not an Eagle. I, that's the only Eagle I, that I support. I didn't think you would be. No, 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 no. I am a Falcon fan through and through. There you go. Okay. I have uh, I have no roots in Philadelphia. <clears throat> I so I was I saw something before we get into the Mediterranean. I saw something interesting on. Um, uh, <clears throat> a podcast I'm subscribed to for um, TubeBuddy, which is a SEO for YouTube. Um, and they're talking about the death of um, thumbnails, that thumbnails are going to be less important moving forward with Google. And your intro is more mm -hmm. important because that's what shows up when people are, you know, when they put a the cursor over your video, the intro is what starts playing. So they're saying there's going to be the thumbnails are still important now, but if the transition is going to be thumbnails, less important intro, much more important. 
Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're changing a lot of stuff up. I mean, I, I mean, I just got monetized. The, the other day they said, you know, you're all, all ready to go. And then I'm looking through that they have. I have 390 some uh, uh, videos. And I'm just looking, I was looking through to see, <laughs> see what, what they monetized and what wasn't. And there's four or five that they didn't, they said, uh, you have to check these. I know, I know one has music on it, uh, but I have a couple that are, uh, you know, it's St. Patrick's Day. I'm, I, I did a shot. Okay. Uh, so I really got in, get into it because they're, I mean, they got some crazy, crazy things going on. Yeah. And most of my shorts that I do has music behind it and they're not, they won't monetize them. So, but there's too many of them for me to change, but you know what? I'll ride with it. Whatever they have to, we have to do. We'll do, you know? Yeah. That's their rules. Mike, the computer tips. How you doing, Mike? Just let it. Now, if everybody would type in keto, they'll be able to drop your link. Uh, I had some problems. I just want to get this out of the way. I had some problems last week with people. <laughs> stupid me. I have my name in, in capitals, okay? And somebody typed in my, <laughs> I guess, to promote me, and they got put in timeout. <laughs> well, <laughs> So I think I think I changed it. I think I got it squared away. So, but a little dipsy today. I had a little surgery done this week. Yeah, I saw that. And I had a lot yeah. taken off. Uh, well, no, next week sometime. If uh, what the deal was, I don't think there's any problems with it. But just it was just the more weight I lose, the more lumps I'm finding. So no, nobody call me lumpy either. No. <laughs> I'm old enough, and you are too, to know who lumpy is. I know who lumpy is. Yeah. <laughs> The dude knows who Lumpy is. Yeah, the dude. The dude's in here. Dude, last thank you again, buddy. I appreciate it. Last name Rutherford. Yeah, Lumpy, Lumpy Rutherford, Rutherford, absolutely. And his daddy was the same guy that played Mel Cooley on Dick Van Dyke show. <laughs> dude said I should be yeah. in timeout also. All right, so we're getting into this uh, Mediterranean thing. I, I changed it up a little bit because, uh, well, first of all, it's a little easier on a pocketbook, number one. Oh yeah, um, and you don't, you know, you find yourself getting into that that realm where, well, I got to go get meat today. Today I got to go have steak. Today I got to go have pork. I got to go have this. I got to have that. You don't need to do that, you really don't. Um, so what I did was I, I started looking into it a little bit. And there's a guy on here, Tom yeah. Delore, who he bounces back and forth with keto, but he does. Uh, he's not diabetic, mm -hmm. so he'll play a little bit with some beans and stuff like that, which where I can't. So it's not a tightrope, but it's, I tell you, past couple of days, I've been, I've been making a couple different things and I'm full and I, I just can't, I, sometimes we just can't finish what it is. You, so my programming is how, how I, how I do it is I make it like I'm an appetizer guy to begin with. Okay. I could go out for dinner and just have appetizers. All right. So I made these uh, the other day, I made these, I made uh, tapas. What I did was I took some olives. Uh, roasted red peppers, green and uh, Guatemala olives, on, onion, some dried tomatoes that I dried in, in the oven. And I put them in and I blended them up. And then I took Chinese uh, eggplant and I sliced them up and I grilled them and I just layered them and it stuck them with a tooth toothpick. Some cheese and, the, you know, the top on there. Uh, and then that went in the oven. Then I took mushrooms. I had baby Bella mushrooms. And what I did was I took the stems off, cut cut the circles out, okay, saved all that. When I got to the end of the Chinese eggplant, I diced that up smaller. I put some the leftover tomato from the ends. I put that in the pan, some onion, uh, red pepper again, and bacon. I put a little bacon in it, sauteed that up, and I ran that through the blender also. And that's what I made my stuffing for the mushrooms. I got to tell you guys, I, could, I couldn't finish it. Me and Marie just looked at each other. That's that's how filling this was because it's a change of pace. Well, I know you won't eat leftovers, so yeah. Well, the reason I, why is because I, I don't make I don't make leftovers. That's I don't make enough for leftovers. That's yeah, that's the whole idea. I do. Um, but one of the too. from a metabolism standpoint, as you get older, you you do eat less. You don't eat as much as you did when you were you know 20, 30, 40 or whatever. Um, you know, when you're talking about in Milwaukee, we have a great restaurant scene and there are all over the place littered with small plates restaurants. And 
call them appetizers, call them tapas, so we call them small plates, but it's basically appetizer size portions and you order, you know, a couple of those. And instead of getting a, you know, steak, potato and, <clears throat> and veggie, you're getting a couple <clears throat> of uh, appetizers and you get, you're full. Yeah. Yeah. That's, and that seems to be, that seems to be the, the route I'm, I'm liking because before I would, I would cook, you know, me and Marie, we, we would cook, I would cook a couple of New York strips. Okay. Now sometimes New York strips aren't, aren't too small, but the ones I've been getting lately, pretty good size. I'm having a rough time getting through. Them. So because, because the way we eat, you know what I mean? Everything, everything, we cut back on everything, not because of any kind of strict diet or anything like that. It's because I'm just not full. I mean, I'm, I'm full enough where I, I don't have to eat anymore. No. So, so, so I know Mediterranean that it's that fish is a large portion of the diet, but you don't eat fish. Or y'all I do. don't. But Marie does. I've, yeah, Marie. I've, heard, I've heard her say she doesn't like fish. Marie, She'll eat Marie. shrimp and seafood, but not fish. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, that that is Mediterranean. Um, they have exactly. a pyramid, and mm -hmm. the, the base, the foundation of all Mediterranean is vegetables, fruit, uh, beans, peas, legumes. Um, uh, you know that stuff that's that's like that uh, nuts, and and then the next level up is the fish and seafood and so because mm -hmm. they're leaner and the but i know there's some seafoods that are not keto suggested like i think clams and oysters actually you can eat those yeah, see 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 that's that's where that's where they clash charlie that's where this this whole thing clashes um a lot of people say well you, you gotta eat the beans and you can have pasta and this and that well no <laughs> you know, if you're looking at for carbs, okay, right. on keto, on keto, you can have clams, you can have oysters, you can have shrimp, all the shellfish you can have, okay. Uh, matter of fact, there's not too many fish that you can have. Right. But there again, not many people do that. They right. don't eat fish, okay. So uh, I'm, I got plenty. What I do is I watch a lot of other videos and, I, and I'll take other people's ideas and I'll run them and put it up to where I want. So rather than making tomato sauce, I've been using a lot of plum tomatoes lately. Thank you, Simon. I appreciate that very much. And uh, of course, a lot of uh, the tomato sauce, okay, I got to be careful because depending on what I buy, the carb count is high. When I mean high, it's like six. I do 20 carbs or, or less. But I've been finding, um, I don't buy big, I, I do buy the big red peppers for roasting. Right. Okay. I roast them, but I find I'm trying to do a little smarter here. I'll buy the mini, the mini peppers. Okay. They're cheaper, cheaper. Plus I'll cut one in half. Okay. Or I'll dice that one up and that's a, not even a quarter of a big pepper. Right. You, you, know, you see what I'm saying? Um, also I'll get the Japanese or the Chinese eggplant. Okay. They say you got to be careful of nightshades. I don't, I don't buy that. Careful of what? Nightshades, shades, peppers, onions, things like tomatoes, that. Tomatoes, tomatoes, things, yeah, things that grow in the in in, in the night. So you, they say you got to be careful with that. I don't. That, that to me is a bunch. I, of I'm not a. I, I'm not a firm believer in that either. I, I. I don't don't eat a ton of it, but you, you know you're gonna be all right. I mean, just Randy, how you doing? Yeah, that's you know. see, that's part of it. I mean, um, but most most of the vegetables and stuff that I've been doing is. is uh, not, not a problem, you know. Uh, when I <laughs> had the surgery, the nurse, uh, the doctor, little Oriental woman, she uh, says uh, she likes rice and tried keto and she couldn't do keto because I said, don't, don't even tell me about cauliflower <laughs> that it's rice. <laughs> but she agreed, you know that that you know the Mediterranean is <laughs> better for diabetics. I think it's it's an easier way to eat. It is, yeah. It, depending on what your restrictions are, like I, I, one of the reasons that I, <coughs> oh, shoot, that I like it, um, that I need to have a high fiber diet. So there's a, <coughs> oh, excuse me, Mike, it's catchy. I, it's it's these allergies are killing me. Oh yeah, torture. I tell you, torture. <laughs> um. 
they have um i'm gonna go get up lost i'll be right back mm-hmm. okay <laughs> but yeah i've i've often thought about doing the um china the, the, the uh mediterranean style i i've thought about it and i've gave it some serious consideration and i'm i you know i've told Paige about it and she's all for it she said do it let's do it Mike, it, it's it, here. Here's what I what what I did now. See, so I I'll take I'll take the veggies and stuff like that. And then I'm, people say, "What are you going vegetarian?" No, 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 no. not at all. I can I can incorporate a little bit better with with everything rather than just being restricted. Okay, uh, well, you're gonna have so much fat. You're gonna have this. When I said before, less is more. I'm telling you, I mean, I made. <laughs> I made four stuffed mushrooms, okay, with the only meat that was in it was bacon, okay, mm-hmm. and then I made some sausage, okay, and, it, and I made fresh sausage, and I used that. Also, the other day, I made a uh, pulled a uh, roast po- uh, um, pork cushion, and I pulled it with with uh, zucchini planks, very little cheese on it, but it had enough cheese to give you that, that flavor. It almost was like a white pizza, the way it tasted, you know. If you season it up right and everything like that, you don't need a ton of food. You no, really you don't. don't. No, it, it, um, uh, I, you know, people with the thing about the nightshades, I'm telling you, I don't worry about the tomatoes, the, the onions, and the peppers because that ain't what made me fat. Exactly. Exactly. That ain't what made me fat. The top of the pyramid in the Mediterranean is what makes you fat. <laughs> there it, you go. And, in the Mediterranean diet, they view sweets and meat the same. Think yeah. about that. Yeah. Meat yeah. and sweets. Not not chicken, but pork, lamb, mm-hmm. um, any kind of uh, game meat, um, mm-hmm. beef, obviously. <clears throat> They're on the same level as sweets, which is most people's downfall when it comes yeah. to sticking with diets. Yeah. Yeah. You so. said you, you hit the right thing when I talked to you last, Charlie, about um, diets are great until you fall <laughs> fall up the wagon. Right. You know? All I'm, diets work until they don't. Yeah. I'm I'm like 15 months into this, okay? And I a week two weeks ago, we played around with the Mediterranean. I did a couple, couple things <clears> on it. Uh, cook time is much easier, much quicker. I lost two pounds. Now, I take that with a grain of salt. Okay, uh, because I I treat them like like my subs, you know. When they when it sticks for a couple of days, then I'll say, okay, it's good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it it was a different way. It was just a different mindset, and it has a lot to do with up here. Yeah, you know what you're taking in. So I went instead of being coastal. There's Mediterranean. It's coastal. That's a lot of fish, stuff like that. You could take that inland also. Right. So you can do your lamb. You can do some beef. You can do, and I'm going to continue to wait what I'm eating. But my whole thing was pocketbook wise. Okay. Do I really have to spend that much money and eat that stuff every night? You know, hey, John. Stuff like that. So, <clears throat> so, hey, John, how you doing? Yeah, dude, I drink, a, I'll have a Michelob Ultra or similar. Uh, I, I like my, it. <clears throat> I have my wine. That's the other thing with with almost all diets, but with Mediterranean and with South Beach and with keto, that everything in moderation. I mean, you can yeah. have alcohol, right? You just can't go crazy. You right. you know, you can have, you know, you can have meat, but you just can't go crazy. It's not prohibited. Like yeah, in right. in Atkins, you know, no bread, no nothing, um, and that's why those diets don't work because they're not sustainable. You know. Well, they, well, I tell people if you go into keto strictly to lose weight, you're going into it for the wrong reasons. Exactly. You've got to go into it so that you can change your way of eating, so that you can feel health, be healthier, feel better, and you're going to get a byproduct of weight loss more than likely. Yeah. Well, this is a this is a lifestyle. It's, they, exactly. The word diet is a misnomer, although it 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 gives you the image of what this is supposed to be doing, but what you're really doing is you're changing your lifestyle and how you approach eating, exercise, and everything related to that. So you're exactly right, Mike. So, you know, if you, I have a theory on diet. 
I don't like to call anything a diet because I mean, take what's the first three letters of diet? Die. Well, let me. I gotta write it down. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there was going to be a quiz on this. <laughs> yeah, shit. If I'd known that, I would have shut this off a while ago. Uh, Raquel, how you doing, Raquel? Gina? Just want to say hello to a couple people. Did, Simon? Did you mute me? Did you mute me? Did you? Uh, no, I didn't mute you. No, I don't do that kind of stuff. The, the, so the, the fact the fact is that... <clears throat> And, and and you and you get you you hear it all the time. Well, everybody's different. You know, everybody just yeah. yep, you're 100 percent right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But if everybody if if that's true and if everybody uh keeps saying that, well, everybody's different. Why is there McDonald's on every other corner to feed them that kind of junk? Yeah, you understand? <laughs> so you know, to me, when when I turn around and said I said, Well, I'm gonna start this, this Mediterranean thing like that, I knew I was gonna get some backlash on it. Well, I mean, I, it's me. I, I don't give a damn one way or the other I, because it's how I feel, what works good for me, my blood sugar. That's that's number one. OK, I got off of the medications that I'm on. OK, uh, after I get this checked out and find out everything was is, is OK, with it, I'm going to go back and we're going to talk about other medications to get off because I'm at the point now where my blood sugar is level. So <clears throat> can I have some more nuts? Yeah, I have had some goat cheese the other day with blueberries on it oh okay okay cool. hey, goat just, cheese is good for you a couple pieces yeah. of that i had okay i love goat cheese didn't bother me didn't, didn't raise my blood sugar so that's how i gotta look at it so adding in a little bit more vegetables and stuff like that yeah it's good you know uh, i have no problem with it hey, well, cheese is on cheese is on the same level as poultry and eggs and yogurt and within mm -hmm. mediterranean yeah. it's um it, it's higher up so that's another one in moderation won't kill you, but right. you know. Now, see, in, in keto, putting that in with with keto, okay, that's that's right there. I mean, between uh, like uh, the heavy, no sugars whatsoever. So mm -hmm. the best thing for us to have being on keto, especially with diabetic, would be heavy cream. Okay, I had heavy cream in my coffee until the price went up, and there again, everything is based on right here. So I was paying for a half a gallon of heavy cream at one point. I was Brian, paying six, bearded Italians here. Six dollars I was paying for it. Okay, now it's ten forty nine for a half. What is that, uh, Brian? I'm, I am not going to. I'm not going to do that. So, Brian, how you doing? So it's yeah. it's according to the price. Also, I mean, I don't know how how the people are de dealing right now with uh, eating nothing but grass fed beef or grass fed any anything. <clears throat> Okay, I don't know how they're dealing with that. All the people that were pushing free range eggs. Okay, hold on a minute. Just how Jason, just Jason Keto was saying a while ago. He said you'll get a lot fuller on two thousand uh, two thousand calories of regular food, good food, as opposed to junk. Three two thousand calories of junk food, or two. You'll take more to get full on that. They're empty calories. <clears throat> exactly. And Charlie Ranch you... is here and cooking with Stephen and Jacqueline. Charlie, Alex do you Mayer. use a lot of oils? You know, like uh, olive um, oil, obviously. Mostly yeah. olive oil. Um, okay. And I have different oils, especially for Asian cooking. And um, but for the most part, for most cooking, it's olive oil. And that's okay. that's for that's two reasons. Mm -hmm. First, I'm Italian, and second. Um, it's it's more accepted. It's one of the the more acceptable ones, specifically on, on Mediterranean most diets, because it's a right. It's it, that's just there. So, and I like the taste. So, you know, if you yeah. go to if you go to Italy and go to to a place where they uh, manufacture or they they uh, process olive oil, you get to taste it. Oh, taste okay, it. yeah, yeah. I know people who they'll take a couple of teaspoons of olive oil every day. I do. I do that. They're just just. And I know there's there's a bunch of there's avocado oil there's all kinds and they get, the reason for using them varies in a cooking sense because some of them have higher smoke points right. some of them have yeah. put a different flavor in you know for peanut oil some people can not use that it's just I mean to me it's just, I just for the most part it's either olive oil or um, some sort of vegetable oil yeah I, I I'll, I'll blend I will blend some olive oil with with the avocado oil if I am going to be sautéing stuff. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, add, I also, if I'm going to be cooking something with butter, I will also add either olive oil or avocado just to keep it from blacking up. That's if I'm making like a brown butter sauce or anything, something like that. The difference, I guess the difference is uh, what I'm looking at is adding a little bit more meat rather than the beans and stuff. So it would be a, a toss up for me. Yeah, I, you know, I like the beans, um, the peas. I can't do them. I know, I understand. And I that's like I'm, I'm that's not problem. I'm not gonna address the keto aspect of it because it's not my yeah. it's not something I've you know, I I shouldn't say I don't understand it, but I, you know, I don't it's not up front. You don't um, do it. Yeah. But a lot of what works and what you can do, like I make a we something I I facetiously call a um a salad for carnivores. So it's um you, you make a salad, a bed of whatever you did, lettuce, uh, onions, whatever you want to put on there. And then you put a piece of fish or a, um, uh, chicken thighs, um, you know, a, a boneless chicken thighs. And then you just kind of eat your salad with your thing. So I just called it, I've called it a carnivore salad because you, mm -hmm. you do have a piece of protein on top of it. But it's, you, you can mix and match whatever you want in a salad. Like you're at a salad bar, you put, I love that, all that, all that, all that. And mm -hmm. then you got your, and it, it's a nice looking plate too, but it also serves two purposes. Yeah. yeah. And, and like, like Sheen is saying, uh, you know, let's see here. Brian, the bearded Italian said his favorite oil is 10W40. <laughs> the, the dude's 10W30. 10, 10, 10, 30 for the dude. I, just, I love that, Sheen that was. dude, I think you might be 1040 also. Yeah. That yeah. might be too thin for you where you at. <laughs> Me too. I lost. I lost. Yeah, the dude's see, all right with me, as we have spoken before. Yep, absolutely. And now you know with the different oils and stuff like that. I mean that that's, uh, you know, canola canola oil and yeah. uh, all, all the seed yeah. oils and stuff like that. I, they, you know, they, they come up with these. Well, we had a study. Uh, we did a study. Come on with the studies. You know what I mean? What would you do a study for two weeks on somebody who ate it and checked their bloods and stuff like that? Okay. Uh, there again, moderation. Uh, if you use them, especially with the prices of everything. My my whole deal was exactly how do you know a good quality olive oil? Okay. With all the scams that were going on with the olive oil. All right. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean... Just, just a money aspect of it, okay? You're getting olive oil that all of a sudden finds out that for five or six years it was it was all bogus. It was it yeah. was crap oil, yeah. you know that, that they they found out and stuff like you that. You want so, cold pressed or expeller pressed? You don't want to get any of that other stuff. Now, so, John, I mean, John, the barbecue rock star, he said, "I guess y'all didn't see my Mediterranean meal where he did uh, uh, chicken with angel hair pasta and all." I did see it, John, and I commented. I said that, that meal. I said you went full fledged gourmet with that. Well, can on keto can you eat whole grain pasta? No, no. Okay. No. See, one of the in Mediterranean, that's one of the things: whole grain rice, whole grain pasta, no white food, which is you know sugar, rice, pasta, um, potatoes, and bread. None of the potatoes. none of the white foods are acceptable, but yeah. whole grain. Um, is on all of those. Yeah. See, we can't. I can't. Yeah, can, no. No you, whole grain. You can't eat any kind of pasta that's, uh, well, you know, flour based, rice based, chickpea based, whatever. Well, Mike, you you're the king of the uh, egg life, egg wrap. <laughs> I saw your lasagna uh, one. I I tell you what, that lasagna was really good. I bet. See, I see, there again, so there again. It's it's a it's a matter of taste. It's a matter of getting used to stuff. Okay, well, this don't taste like pasta. Well, guess what? It's not pasta. Okay, right. you know. So yeah. once you get once you get past that, it's okay. Yeah. But in the beginning, I could not stand them egg life wraps. I couldn't stand them. Okay, I said this is. I mean, God Almighty, it tastes like an you know an egg and chewy and all right, 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 right. Okay, because I was getting back into that that crybaby thing, you know. Well, I can't have pasta. I can't have this. I can't have that. <coughs> but you want to well, simulate? You want to simulate something like that? You know, you, you go for it. Now, now they're good. Now, now they're good. 
I remember the when I was doing Atkins a few years ago, and they had low carb or no carb pasta, and I I fixed it, and I it really tasted the cardboard box would have probably tasted better. It was horrible, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and so I've kind of stayed away from low carb, no mm. carb. But I, the the um, the whole grain part is from a it's a health standpoint, and it fits into the Mediterranean part of eating whole grain, um, pastas, rices, and breads, again, in moderation. I yeah. took, I took my mother-in-law some of that lasagna. And when I did the, uh, uh, I did a, uh, what did I do? I made a dish where I used it as a pasta in it too. Uh, and I took that to her and, she loved both of them. She said, I don't, what did you use for the pasta? It was really good. Uh, but I, I could tell it wasn't real pasta, but it was really good. And, and I'll tell you what, the second day around with that, it is much better than the first day. It's good the first day, but it is fantastic. And it absorbs the exactly flavor from the yeah. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. So Brian and I need to talk, but we, we were thinking that we might make you an honorary Italian. I'm, you know. <laughs> Not, uh, I would be honored. Well, Brian, we'll have to converse about that at some point. <laughs> you, wait, you gonna bring in the the Keontae kid here too? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gizu, the, the, the Keontae kid over here. Hello, Nancy. How you doing? Uh, hey, Nancy. Hey, Gizu, he's, he's married to an Italian. We <laughs> went to. A... I know she's on the she's on the committee too. <laughs> When I when I lived when I lived in Tarpon Springs, we used to go to this Italian restaurant right on the water, and the, the couples we went with, another couple and, and Marie, as we're walking in, the guy, my buddy's talking Italian to the owner. So they're going back and forth, back and forth, and I said, "Where where you, where's he from?" He said, "He's from Naples." The, the wife said she was from uh, another part of Italy. He asked Marie, "What part of Italy are you from?" And Marie says, "I'm from uh, where are you from again?" <laughs> Some, some, somewhere, and the guy looked at me. He said, "What part of what part of Italy are you from?" I said, "Dublin." <laughs> <Just walking. laughs> I, hey, hey, if it helps, if it helps, I Seriously. may have I may have been conceived in Italy. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I got to ask my sister. Marie says she's from Sicily. Your sister was there. No, I got to ask. She was there. She was <laughs> older than me, and my mother and father and both of my sisters. They were living in Italy, and right after Italy, we went to Cuba, and that's where I was born. So oh, I might, it's possible that I was. <laughs> you got some passport there, going, buddy. <laughs> Italy to Cuba? Yeah. Yeah. He was in the Navy. This is, oh, this is pre, pre-revolution? pre Yes. Okay. Yep. And they, uh, uh, we left as a revolution was getting started was a uh, google translate it was getting started <laughs> uh, so charlie what's your what's Peanut your trucker what's your favorite to uh cook as far as with, with mediterranean uh, you know like for the weekend type of thing you know not a not a quick weeknight or... um well i we we belong to a um seafood uh, csa it's called sitka salmon and they deliver a box about this big every month um, of 10, 12 pieces frozen, the vacuum sealed. Um, so a lot of times we'll make something based on around the seafood. A lot of salmon, a lot of salmon. Uh, last month was sablefish. Next month coming up is tuna. That dungeon is crowd. But I, I like to work from, and, and you guys are the same way. Open the fridge, see what's in there. Go, mm, I get that. All right, well, how about if I do this? I made to go to the store to get that. But it's I start with what's in the fridge and or a freezer. So um, with white fish, that's an open, an open canvas for me. I mean, you can go anywhere. You can put any kind of spice on it. You can, mm -hmm. last night I made one with, yep. um, you know, onions, peppers, um, mushrooms, on top, a little uh, sauteed it. With some had some carrots in there, so it's just that's what I made. Um, it, my go-to when my wife's not home 
a hundred percent is pasta. Hundred percent. So, so my wife comes up and said, "What'd you have for dinner last night?" I said, "Well, I don't need to. You don't need to tell me. I can guess. You had, <laughs> you had spaghetti and meatballs." I said, well, "I didn't have any meatballs." I said, "Okay." You had <laughs> I said, yeah. Um, That's funny. But, in, you know, my wife is an excellent cook also, but she just has, she doesn't cook during the week because she's got a pretty high powered job. Um, so we usually collaborate on the weekends. And uh, if we're not going out, we'll work together and, and figure mm-hmm. something out. Um, and she has a couple of standard recipes that she loves. Uh, and I'm more, well, let's try this. Uh, let's let's try well we got some uh that's me sometimes yeah sometimes there's just some some burgers let's do a burger no bun um put the onions and peppers on top and then melt the cheese on top and just have the burger mm-hmm. with um without the bun hello and, toya how you doing i i will i go to the refrigerator or the freezer and i'll just look and say hmm what can i make out of this what i've seen I- you do that on your on videos I mean, yeah. that's basically yeah. what you said. This was in the fridge, and this is what I'm making. Yeah. And I'm like, let's, let's, you know, it's just, I just kind of come up with it. But oh, before we go any further, I want to, this is out of this realm, but I, I want to do this because it's something that's special to me. And I'll tell you, and you'll, you'll see why. Uh, today is December 7th, Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day. Uh, Absolutely. My, my father was there, he was on board ship when they when it was attacked and and he it, it stuck with him he would not talk about it he would not talk about it he had folks that he knew that died but he never would talk about it and i know that it left him with some scarred memories and and uh that he carried with him to the day he died and uh i just want to make recognition to the ones that served there and then were there that day because I don't know if there's any of them left. Not many. Main, yeah, Not if many. there is, it's only a few. It's only a few if there's any. And uh, so I, I just want to make recognition to them. Yeah, I, I uh, grew up listening to the 40s music and all my <laughs> relatives were, you know, obviously around at that time. And I said, you know what? I wonder what the number one song was today on Pearl Harbor Day, December 7th, 1941. Mm-hmm. And it was Chattanooga Choo Choo, Glenn Miller. I heard that. I heard Glenn Miller, all of them. My daddy was a big band fan. Yeah. I heard all of that stuff growing up. It was, he yeah. would, if there was music playing in the house when he was there, that was the music playing. <laughs> yeah. Can I yeah. say yeah. hi in the chat? Sure. Somebody wanted to know how do I do that? Where's my. Oh, you got to go to YouTube to do it. Oh, then I guess Cottonwood Ranch. Sorry, I can just say it out loud. How you doing? Yep, that's kind of a chat. Yeah, there you go. Well, that's um, very yeah. nice, Mike. That's a very poignant and. But we'll get back to what we were going for because yep. I, I just wanted to do that because it's it's a very important day to me. I agree. I totally agree. Yeah, see, getting back to what we were talking about, I both of us are retired, so we're both here. So I, it, whatever we decide to cook or whatever, yeah. I I try to uh, I buy in bulk, and uh, you know I butcher up my meats and stuff like that, my, you know chickens and all that stuff like that. So we have something to cook. But with that said, we're getting to the point now with the way we're eating. Uh, I don't need to cook that much. We only, I mean, I'll have. I'll have a couple scrambled eggs around 12, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And then right after that, just to get the wrinkles out of my stomach. <laughs> and, then, and then like 2.30, 3 o'clock, I'll start cooking. And, and most of the time, I'll, we'll, we'll do a video on it. So uh, there's really nothing, you know, no prep work where I just set the camera up and I just start cooking. That's basically what it is. I, I generally eat about the same way, but we eat a little later in the evening. Uh, Paige will make, I'll make Paige a breakfast. Or a lunch, depending, uh, and you know, because she, the doctors want her to eat it. It it help. They say it helps her not to have brain fog. So yeah, yeah. They don't so want her going without. The it. people were asking why they wanted me to chat. What my channel is? It's it's in the it's cooking secrets for men. 
Um, I think Meg or Marie put it up. Mm -hmm. um, be happy to have you drop by. Y'all yeah. really should. He's got a series going right now where he's interviewing folks and he's doing some food stuff on the same interview and, and, and with the people he's interviewing. And there's people that are uh, from the Milwaukee area that he, you know, that are. It it kind of dovetails into what you were talking about. You were you living in Cuba. The guy that I'm talking, I've got a video tomorrow with the guy who's, uh, his name is Ricardo Diaz, um, large uh, presence here in Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. But he was, he's Cuban from Cuban oh, okay. descent, and we're making okay. some sort of Cuban dish. We're going grocery shopping in the All morning right. All um, right. to go to a, 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 one of the markets nearby and then get the stuff, and then we're going to cook a Cuban dish. Um, Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. And, you know, I'm, I'm well, to I the can, point. Go ahead, Mike. I'm I sorry. Can, I can share a story with you. I worked the Olympics when they were here in 96 uh, with my job, and I, I, was, I was assigned to the uh, Olympic Village. And one of the areas there, they had the, the really high profile uh, countries, Israel, Russia, U.S., Cuba, some other countries were in this area. They were the high risk folks. And yeah, the Cubans, yeah. we got a call that the fire alarm was going off in the dormitory they were staying in over here at the Georgia Tech campus where they were. And we get over there and they had taken a grate out of the refrigerator. They had started a fire in the trash can and they were cooking chicken over the trash can in the room and <laughs> somehow or another they got a live chicken and they butchered it i don't know how they got a live chicken but they got one <laughs> that's, that's, a funny, that's a funny story <laughs> i was one of the first ones up there and i got through the smoke and all because it was filled up with smoke and i was one of i was the one that opened got the window open so they could throw the trash can outside <laughs> because it was burning did you did they offer you white meat or dark meat <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't get any of it oh. i didn't get any of it he got the feathers for a pillow <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah uh, was, and they're like what you yeah, know what you know <laughs> It was, and it was a steel grate that was in the refrigerator that was in the room. So they figured, why not? You know. <laughs> you, you know what I noticed do, doing this, doing this. Uh, you know, calling it keto. Really, to me, it's not a diet. It's a, it's a lifestyle. It's how you eat, what you eat. Okay, mm -hmm. um, how much you eat. Okay, and it's actually changing, changing how you do things. Okay, so the old way. When I, when I was diagnosed with, with uh, type 2 diabetes because of bladder cancer, uh, they had me, all you got to eat, three meals a day plus in between. So that's six, eight times a day. Okay. And that actually hurt me more than, more than usual. Let's put it that way. So then when I found this way, I got to the point where back in 2016, I'm saying to myself, well, like, if I just have a little bit of pasta, if I have just maybe one slice of pizza, it's not going to kill me. Okay. Yeah. Really did. <laughs> it really, really took a toll. So it's just like, I always say it all the time. It's like telling an alcoholic here, you can have some near beer and it won't bother you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But the trigger's there. So I watch, I watch a lot of people that do make this crazy bread or, or they'll make uh, they'll spend a ton of money on ingredients. Okay. And, oh, yeah, well, it tastes like chocolate chip cookies, you know. So you just ate a styrofoam cup with chocolate on it, uh, you know, basically <laughs> what it is. So if you just do away with it. So when I said I'm going to do Mediterranean, oh, there's a lot of restrictions on that. Also a lot of restrictions with the keto. No, it's not really. You know, it's just basically what, you, what you're going to put into your into yourself, you know what I mean? It's, I don't, I'm not sure what the restrictions are other than, don't eat a lot of everything. I mean, that's yeah. Well, I mean, somebody says, "Well, you can't eat a lot of meat. You can't have red meat. You can't have this. You can't have that." You, blah, you blah, blah, can. Blah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Moderation. Yeah, exactly. Don't moderation. Yeah, that's that's the whole thing in a nutshell. Now, Tom, one of the things you you just kind of alluded to. Um... No, that's mine. No okay, dogs. good. <laughs> it's just, we don't have a dog, so I was just just double checking. Um, <laughs> Get to say, Marie, get the door. <laughs> Most days I can get by with two meals. 
if I eat a late breakfast, like 10, 30, 11 o'clock, and then eat dinner at, you know, 5, 30, 6 o'clock, um, it, I get by with two meals. Yeah. And, oh, oh. and I think it's part of, I think that's part of um, getting older where your metabolism slows and you really don't need as much. Boredom, okay, is, is another another thing, okay, especially when people get older, okay, well, what am I, let me make a sandwich, let me make this, let me make that, all that, you know, all that stuff combined, all right, oh, you got a Duncan Hines cake that you made, well, have a little slice of that, next thing you know, you're sitting on the couch, next thing you know, you become the couch, you know, so, but you got, you got to move, Charlie, you play golf, don't you? Yes. Okay. See, I, I had to give it up because I because I broke my leg and I, I couldn't walk too good. But I'm uh, I'm ready to start playing again. I gave it up. It was too expensive. No, I, I love to play, um, but I have, as again, as I've aged and my knees have gotten worse, I I don't walk as much as I used to, so I take a cart. Um, but yeah, I love to play and. Um, yeah. The way, the way I played golf, you needed a cart and a bushwhacker. Well, you know, if we were any good, if we were any good, we'd be playing a, you know, a yeah. TV. So there you go. You know, we're so, all we're all just hacking it around and um, you know, just enjoying. I like being outside, especially up in Michigan where we uh, you know, when it's 70 degrees and sunny every day, um, and it doesn't get dark until 10 o'clock. Yeah. Um, it I like to, my wife and I will go out and get a cart. We'll just kind of they, there's nobody at the club like four o'clock in the afternoon, we just go out and hit a few balls and then we'll go and say, well, I don't want to play that hole. I'll go play another hole. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah. and that's the kind of golf that I like, which is uh, low pressure, just enjoying the outdoors, hanging with my wife. Um, yeah. You know, it's the, that's more. And then we used to play Sunday mornings up here in Milwaukee when it was, uh, when the weather was okay. We, with where I used to live, we had a par three um, course which we could play 18 holes in an hour. So that was always, uh, you know, go to Sunday morning, nice Sunday morning, go around the course. And you take <laughs> walk, four around with, walk around with two clubs. Well, I, had, I had four clubs. I had a putter and three wedges. Okay. Yeah. And a loft wedge and a, and a gap wedge and then my regular wedge. See, see, and that's the other thing too. Everybody, that misconception about, well, you, you can do them, them diets or, or especially with keto. Uh, and turn around and you don't have to exercise. I have no exercise. Right now. That's, that's, that's part of it. That's complete. Exercise is part of it. Baloney. Exactly. Got to move, man. You got to move. Yeah. Got to get up, move around. And you know what? When I, when I went into ketosis and that was a, that was a funny part about the, not any other diet will do that for you. Okay. When you go into ketosis and you don't stay in there for a long time, people have that other misconception that you go in ketosis and you're there forever. Mm -mm. You go in and out of it because your body produces glucose. So, that's why we can't have the beans and stuff like that. But that's when moderation comes in to play with me. So when I turn around and say, you know what? Uh, everything has carbs in it, no matter how you add it up. They're very low level carbs, whatever. Uh, and most, most of that stuff. But when you turn around and you start eliminating them things, okay? And then you go into ketosis. I mean, I'm with, holy crap, clear headed. The whole bit, and then I started dropping. I mean, I started dropping weight. And the first week, I think I dropped 12 pounds. So when I went to the doctor, he says to me, that's water weight. I said, well, does that count? <laughs> and weight's weight, right? I mean, come on. If I came in here weighing 12 pounds more, if I told you it was water weight, what would you tell me? Yeah. And, you know, in the old days, I would tell the nurse, now you do my blood pressure right here. You ain't walking me 40 miles in the back of the room to stand on an elephant scale and then take my blood pressure. And just go, hmm, geez, that's high. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, you're nuts. So, I went but, to the doctor the other day, and I, I it was 40 degrees when I left. And they said, why are you wearing shorts? I said, scales, baby, scales. That's right. <laughs> absolutely. You, you are absolutely. I wear the lightest clothes possible. I take my shoes off. I take everything out of my pockets. Absolutely. But the last, <laughs> I'll get in trouble for this one. But the last time I went and a girl put me on the scale, I looked at her up and down. I said, really? Maybe you ought to get on a little <laughs> change things around here a little bit. <clears throat> and I went over like a fart in church. But yeah, I, I had a doctor told me, he said, he was bigger than I was. And he said, I want you to lose such and such a pound. And I said, okay, doc. 
tell me the diet you're on. And I, t- I, I kind of pumped, patted him on the belly and I said, tell me the diet you're on. I'll do that. Uh, We're not talking about me. I said, oh, I just brought it up. So we are <laughs> <laughs> all on the same page. Yeah. And, and that's the funny part about it now because you got doctors now that are looking at you saying, hmm. Because my, my doctor originally said to me, why don't you try the Mediterranean? I says, well, I says, kind of, you know, kind of not what I what I eat right, you know, right now and stuff like that. So he says, well, you can alter it. So they know what, what the hell they're talking about. You know what I mean? You know, and that's that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm adding a little bit. I have, like I said, I'll have a little pork in there. I did, you know, more vegetables in the meat, smaller amounts. Yeah. But there again, we're not eating as much. So, right. I mean. That's that's basically where it's all at. Well, you know, I I got to start going to the Asian store that's near me because they've got some great veggies there. Well, you saw the video uh, that time. Mm-hmm. That is man. He saw all these peppers. He goes, I can't find those peppers you got there, and you got hundreds of them. And yeah. You got, yeah, big difference. Really, is a big difference. Yeah, I got to start going there more, but. I try to buy most of the veggies I buy. The only like Brussels sprouts and and uh, um, asparagus I don't do it with because they don't translate well. I get frozen because they're fresh frozen. That is, I let them thaw <laughs> and drain, and you got basically the same as a fresh piece of broccoli or a fresh piece of uh, cauliflower or green beans or whatever, you know, and and it it. It works, you know. It it's fine, and uh, I don't have I to worry I'm about him the, going bad. I'm sorry, go ahead, Mike. No, I don't have to worry about him going bad at all. You know, I'm in the. I know I'm in the extreme minority, but I don't mind going to the grocery store every day. And yeah, neither do I. I pretty much go every day, and I buy whatever I'm going to make for dinner. And so everything in my pantry is fresh. Um, you know, I only buy fresh vegetables and fresh fruit. Um, it, it's just I waste less, and that is more of a money thing because you know when you go to the grocery store on Sunday and you you know you get the grocery cart full and then the stuff just sits there and you end up throwing it out. Right. I right. stopped doing that years ago. And so I, my wife said, "Well, you don't want to go to the store every day." I said, "Well, yeah, I I do. I will so do." One that. of one of my favorite things to do is go to the grocery store. Yeah, I I love it. I can't stand any other kind of shopping, but I love the grocery store. I never thought of it that way, but I agree. I, I did a collab. I did a collab where they said the only thing you can use is in your pantry. So I'm screwed. <laughs> I don't have nothing in the pantry. I got stuff in it, but it's, it's other stuff. It's not it's not food that you can make food with, you know. Well, with the exception of some I got some cauliflower rice in there that's in a that it's a in a container I, you're gonna see a video come out on it soon where i made soup and i used it and yeah, it was well, good it was good it, it's and it's clean echo, it's clean i do somebody got an echo me i think so charlie i don't know is it me no must be me yeah, yeah. Let me turn my sound down a little bit. No. That helps. Yes, no, maybe so. See, I don't hear it. Try to try talking again. Not See, I'm here. I'm here. I'm hearing back. back. Let me see here. I'm uh I can hear it myself too. Yeah. So I don't hear it at all. It's me and Tom. I don't have um Hold on a minute. Let me double check. So, Mike, you're gonna have to do the show the rest of the night by yourself. <laughs> when deep doo doo. <laughs> you know, talking about playing golf a while ago. When I played, I I had a couple of folks that I played with, and I I was playing one day, and this guy I was playing with, I hit a shot, and he goes, "Man, that's that's pro quality shot." And I said, "Well, thank you." Next shot I hit, it was god awful. And he said, and I looked at him, I said, that's why I ain't a pro. <laughs> yep. He said, what do you mean? I said, I can't hit two of them back to back. I can't hit two. Absolutely. Okay. Great game. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. It was, 
I think I got it. I've seen more men lose their temper and break down expensive clubs, throw them in lakes and ponds and creeks. And I'm like, these are guys that you don't see them ever lose their temper. And out there on the golf course, they'll lose it. Yeah, Raquel, I don't know. I don't know. Raquel, that's exactly what I want to start doing. She's talking about doing collabs with fresh ingredients and stuff. Yeah, I need to. I, I if we go to, we have a lot of doctor's appointments with Paige. Although we've started to regulate <laughs> out, we started to get a little more regular with it. Not not having to go. It's like this month. There's very few, so I might start going to the grocery store and buying fresher stuff and using it and cooking with it and try to go more often to the grocery store instead. The only problem is I tend to buy uh, stuff that I don't want or need at the time <laughs> when I go because I'll see it. I say, Ooh, I like that. You know, <laughs> see what I do is I have, I have the vacuum seal bag and I'll take that and I'll, um, I'll, um, vacuum seal it, put it in the freezer, you know, uh, blanch it. I buy a ton of broccoli. And then what I'll do is I'll, t uh, we'll blanch it. Vacuum seal it, put it in the freezer, and take them out, and I can just cook them right in, right in the, uh, in the pouch if I want it. See, you know what I mean? see, I want to get the larger quantities of the romaine lettuce and use them, and the large and get bok choy because they sell those are they sell in large quantities, but I can't I can't buy them in the smaller quantities, and I'll it'll go bad before I can use it all. And I I wish I had, where did you get a vacuum sealer? Send me a link. Of uh, what you've got, so I know you, what you got. You can get one for eighty bucks in um, uh, Amazon. Okay, how much are the replacement bags? Fifteen, twenty bucks in in there. I buy them by a roll. I get uh, one hundred fifty feet. <clears throat> oh, uh, and you can make it you know any size you want. Is that me? Because I know some stuff you can use reuse the bag it came in. With some things like with cheeses, you can use the bag over again with some cheeses. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if they got the zip and stuff like that, right? They got all this different stuff. No, I mean, where but, you 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 actually could put it on the vacuum sealer, cut the top off of it, and put it on the vacuum sealer, and it'll seal it. Huh? I never tried that. I've seen that done. I've never done it, but I've seen it done. Yeah. Handicap travelers here. Hello, handicap traveler. You drop drop uh, keto. Type in keto, and it'll drop your link. Yeah. One of the other things I was thinking about for Mediterranean, um, hearty soups, vegetarian soups. That's a meal. I mean, there there are so many vegetarian meals that you can make that are filling and healthy, yeah. and you know, to an extent, relatively inexpensive. Yeah, um, which fit most lifestyles. I mean, if there's, yep. if there's, you know, what percentage of Americans are, are vegetarian? Yeah. I mean, there's you know, 20, 20, 25%, 10%. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of yeah. 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 But there's a lot. Like I, I was just thinking that I have some butternut squash soup that I made the other day. And I, my wife and I had a bowl. That was dinner, the, you know, a couple nights ago. Yeah. Didn't eat anything else. I made soup last night. Uh, chicken vegetable. Charlie, you have YouTube open? Say what? Say what? Do you have YouTube open? Yeah. Yeah. You got to mute that. Go up on a little right. speaker. Now it's closed. Now it's closed. Now it's worse. It's worse. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let me close you everything. Ticked, close everything. You have ticked off the YouTube gods. Try talking now. I'm closing everything, but <laughs> oh, you closed one too many. <laughs> Didn't mean it. He's <laughs> still echoing. Oh, oh me! <laughs> is it me? Is it me now? Not me, is it? Hold on, let me see. Hello, 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 mm -hmm. Mike. Yeah. I'm here. There he is. I was, I was clicking you, everything. You, you got click happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Oh, oh wrong one. <laughs> I 
Indian hemlock. What's up, brother? Expedition Johnny. <clears throat> yeah, I mean soup. Soup's my go-to. I mean, I the other day I did, I did. Um, hey, Johnny. Hey, was it but no oh, butternut squash? Okay, see, I gotta be careful with that because the the carb count is very high. Yeah, in that. In right? butternut or spaghetti? Butternut. Okay. Sp spaghetti squash is almost nil. Yeah. All right. But in uh, butternut, and I love it. I used to, I love making butternut squash soup, but we're not the place I'm at now. I can, I can get away with it. I can have it. You know what I mean? A little bit at a time. So I, I cut it up in the rings, round rings, and I roasted them in the oven. I, I did a little um, a cinnamon, you know, almost like it smelled like apple pie cooking, basically. And that's what we used with dinner. It, it, you know, dug it right out of there. It was great. It was really good. But I, I mean, for me to keep eating it, throughout the week or having it two or three times a week, that's the killer. That's, that's where a guy like me would get in trouble as far as with diabetes, you know, with the diabetic. And I'm the, <laughs> believe me, I'm the type of guy say, you know what? Screw this bull crap. Give me a, you know, give me a banana yeah. split. <laughs> Have you ever had pumpkin soup? <laughs> I like pumpkin soup. Pumpkin's good. Pumpkin's good. I've never had it. I've had I've yeah. had butternut squash soup. I've never had pumpkin yeah. soup. Acorn squash, all that, all that stuff. I've had something. acorn. Yeah. The nutrition values are there, but yes. So yeah. acorn squash is something you can eat. You Limited. can in moderation. In moderation. Yeah. Limited. I think it's because it, uh, it and butternut. They're they of those squashes. They're they're probably the two highest. Well, acorn, and you can eat this if you roast it enough. You can eat the skin. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Oh, now, I guess. Almost all of them, you can eat the skin. Yeah, when we when I do the, the spaghetti squash, I'll cut it. I don't eat the whole thing. I'll, well, I'll cut it. That's why I cut it in circles. Okay. He have you seen the way he does his butter his uh his uh spaghetti squash? Yeah, right. yeah. that and, is genius. I'm, and because I hate I hate going through there and doing all of it, and I see how he does. I'm like, that's so simple. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah. It's like a portion size anyway, and the rest I vacuum seal, put in in the refrigerator. Yeah, and, I mean in the freezer. I'm just feel that. Yeah, just I mean, just for the I roast it though. I roast it ahead of time. Uh, matter of fact, I had some lady, I can't remember, boy, I can't not remember. Big Valley, Big Valley Garden or Big Valley Homestead or something like that. She's up in Northern California. And she asked me, did I have a video on me freezing it? What do I do to freeze it? I have no idea. I said I put it in the bag, put it in the freezer, and that's it. But I know she does dehydrating. So I said to her, I said, maybe you should take a little bit of it and you know, like partially dehydrate them after you cut them and see how they come out that way. So now do you do you put it up in the freezer cooked or uncooked? Cooked. Okay. So you roast it okay. and then freeze it and then bring it out. Okay. Bring it out yeah. and you and then it just heat it up and you yeah, so that's good. Did, you see, it up. did you see the dude's comment? So just say no to squash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so did you see him? Did you see his video that he did today? It was about, that's about as anti-keto as you can get. It was, I have not seen it. It was yet. macaroni got... and cheese balls and deep fried. And... Uh, yeah, well, he made he made sausage balls. I said, I didn't think they had them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I told him he had some great hey, balls. Hey, Charlotte. Yeah. I told I mean, him I liked his balls. They're great balls. See, what I do, I, I, the people that I'm subscribed to, and, and – uh, that and I look, I watch. Okay, I get different ideas for it because you can get stale after a while. And mm -hmm. everybody says, "Well, you're, you're, you're a chef. Uh, you should know how to cook this and how to cook." Nah, it's the furthest thing from the truth. Okay, if you work in a restaurant, you're working off a menu. Okay, and that's all you do. Maybe once in a while, I'd throw some specials in there, but it's repetition. After right. a while, after same stuff. After a while, after a while, after a while. <clears throat> so I like to watch, get different ideas. And then I, you know, put my, my little flip on it. Um, and that's what's keeping me going with it. That's why I switched over with the Mediterranean. If I could take different parts of it, okay, and put it with what I'm doing and cut both of them in half, you know, I'm, I'm yeah. we're doing good. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. We got, we got Gulf Coast grannies in here. Uh, we got um, My Raindrop Life. Michelle. Yes. Welcome. We got the dude. The dude. <laughs> All right. I miss seeing the dude around. Heidi. Heidi's in here. Yep. Heidi. Heidi. Simon. I'm way up there. 
Yeah, so Charlie, what other kind of soups do you do? I mean, uh, well, it, it, with all due respect to the dude, um, you know, zucchini and squash soups. Um, <laughs> we I did the asparagus in this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, and, and towards the end of summer when asparagus is fresh, we'll make asparagus wow. soup. Um, and if you use an immersion blender, you really don't need any cream. You just, exactly. you know, the immersion blender um, makes it nice and silky smooth. And yep. um, what else do we make? Make uh, beef barley soup, which, of course, is, you know, bad for uh, two things. But it's that's another one, you know, a good cut of meat. And that that's something that... Um, in the winter, I'll throw into the um, stock pot or you know, the instant pot and, and make it that way. Um, the you know chicken, you know Thanksgiving, the, the turkey, turkey soup. you know the leftover soup that everybody makes. Um, what else do we make? What See, I mean, I'm I'm into the mode right now where I'm, I still, I don't know I think I should get out of it pretty soon because it's just the two of us. I make my own stocks. I, you know, I still do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, I make some, some of the pork bones and stuff like that. I'll make a pork demi glaze and I'll use that. I, I, I've know, done it, but it's too much work. Different <laughs> stuff. It's too much. I, yeah, work. but I got nothing to do. You know what I mean? You know, me yeah. and Marie can only dance so much. You know, I mean, we can only do the rumba so many times. You know, around the kitchen. So yeah, I mean, I, I got to keep busy. <laughs> but it's a hard, hard habit to break, especially. Uh, now I'll get, I'll buy, uh, the big, the, uh, three pound of, uh, of, um, stock, you know, like the beef stock and stuff like that. Okay. But half the time it's salty as hell. Yeah. You know I mean, you got to water it down and everything like that. So I like to play around with my stuff. A little bit. Everything on the shelf has sugar and salt in it. Every yeah. sink. Yep. Exactly. Dude says if we make some keto sausage gravy and pour it over squash, he'll give it a try. You know what, dude? Done. I'm gonna make some for you. Yeah, and you know what? <laughs> right? See, see. Dude, <laughs> dude giving that ideas. Yeah, <laughs> I'll make it for you. I'll I have. Way I make my sauces, maybe you'll cauliflower. have it. That's for sure. I substitute cauliflower for potatoes, or for rice, when I'm making soup. If it calls for potatoes or for rice, I'll use the riced cauliflower for the rice. And I'll use the call the head the floret 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 floret. I'll use a little bud for <laughs> for the uh, uh, potato, this, and it this works so many, great. Yeah, there's so many different things you can do. I mean, like like that butternut squash the other night. Uh, we we cut them up. I said, you know, and uh, the one end and the small end, you can cut it, make them into bowls. You know, you can mm -hmm. roast them down and pull them out. Same thing with the spaghetti squash. So the whole idea, when, when I say play with your food, that's that's what I mean. Everybody's stuck with that. You know, I got mashed potatoes, this, this, and that, blah, blah. Or, or just diet. I can't have that on this diet. Now, hold on a minute. Nobody's saying, there's no keto cop going to come knocking on your door and say, hey, hold on a minute. Exactly. You know what I mean? Moderation is the big is the big word, you know, to use. You don't have to eat bacon wrap bacon. Right. Yeah. And that was the other myth, too. I, I, I mean, I can only eat so much bacon. Jesus. You know? I mean, the good thing is you can have bacon. Yeah, but, you can. But, you know, not, I doubt you're going to find anybody on keto, well, with maybe some. But you're not going to find a lot of them that have been on it, especially a long time, that they're be eating bacon every day. I did carnivore. I did carnivore for three months when I was in Florida. Holy crap. I mean, I have steak again, you know, one of them things. But after a while, you get, oh. it's like doing the same thing over and over and over again. So a little variety is, like they say, is spice of life. But you got to be careful what you do. I mean, the dude sugar is. Posed, dude's posed a question. Said, so, do you think that you could make, he says, serious question. Do you think you could make keto biscuits using crushed up pork rind? Yeah. You probably yeah. could. See, but it's you know, not just those. You'd have to do some other stuff. But, it, you know, the pork rinds in it would help a lot. See, when, when we make the cho chaffles, okay, we put we put the pork rinds in them, the egg, and a little bit mm -hmm. of the cheese, okay? Now, yeah. if you put a little baking soda in there, or baking powder, rather, it'll rise. It'll rise. It will. It will rise up. So, it's going to rise some because of the egg in there anyway. Yeah. 
but uh, when you put the baking powder, in uh, it, it'll do, it'll rise even more. I got one better for you, dude. I got one better for you. If you take um, that same process with the pork rinds also, and I made them already, and you take some cauliflower and you blend that up with a little little bit of um, uh, baking powder in it, okay, it'll 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 rise up. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking notes. I'm taking dude notes. So we've got keto biscuits with pork rinds, mm -hmm. and we've got uh, squash sausage, with sausage keto gravy. Sausage gravy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Well, and, right. and, a, and a and a and a non-alcoholic Patty Joe beer. <laughs> <laughs> Any beer you drink, if it's in one of them things, that's a Patty Joe beer. It's a Patty mm -hmm. Joe beer. That's the way we planned it. Let's that see. was funny. He's another one. Ra Raquel says this is off topic, but it's predicted to be for minus forty four Celsius tomorrow, where she's at with the wind chill factor. Nope, 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 ain't doing it. Nope, nope, too cold. Yeah, I mean, you could. Yeah, dude, you could work around. It's not going to come up the same way as flour or anything like that. No, nothing will. Uh, I even that pasta that I've been making lately. That's coming up pretty good because. Uh, we used to make our own, almost like crepe-like, to make the uh, manigat, the shells for the manigat. And we're going to do the same process. Okay? It has almost the same stuff, only no flour. So we'll give them a try. There again, I mean, people say, oh, you're crazy. Why didn't you just eat pizza? Because um, I can't. <laughs> you know? Hey, you know, I don't know if... I know that I've made... And you've made it with the uh, egg life. But you know those uh, crepini <laughs> wraps? I wonder, I've never tried making a uh, uh, manigat with it. Huh. Yeah. You know what I seen was was pretty interesting and the other day in uh, the Oriental store. They have these wraps. I guess they make uh, their um, egg rolls and stuff out of them. All right. And I'm looking at them. The carb count is very low on them. Very, very low. So well, you can get away with you know, a a hundredth of an inch. Thin. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, <laughs> you, still can, you, yeah. you, you can still make your own, uh, you know, your own wraps, you know, your own. So I was wondering maybe, hmm, I wonder how that would work like a little managat or something. Egg like managat? Uh, they, well, I made them already. I, I made yeah, four. Yeah, he did it. He yeah, did, did it. A couple of times. He did it. He had a, he had a, it was his, he had a me and my shadow moment because <laughs> <laughs> Because Marie was falling. Right, yeah, I remember that. So do, we need like, a, do we need to have a vocabulary lesson where we got some people on? Yeah. So Managat, ricotta, mozzarella. What am I missing? Brajut. Parmigiano. It's not ricotta. Yeah. Charlie, I, I, found, I finally found an Italian specialty store out here. It was like, woo. <laughs> So, oh, we have a great one here. I, I walked in and I could just, oh, yeah, I took I'm deep. home. So I said to the guy, I said, How you doing? He says, Good, how you doing? For those who need a translation, I he said, said he's, They're talking about manicotti. I said, Where are you from? I said to him, I said, Where are you from? He said, Staten Island. Where are you from? I said, Jersey. Okay, what can I do for you? <laughs> Forget about it. I said, how much, I said, how much is your brzeut? He said, brzeut's twenty-seven fifty a pound. I said, give me a pound. He, no, he said, how much you want? I said, a pound. I said, and I said, you got any sharp provolone? In the case. Got it. And that's how we communicate it. Get all yeah. done? Shook hands? I said, you got a new customer here, pal. Hey, I'll talk to you later, huh? <laughs> said, yeah, no problem. <laughs> there was a, when I lived in D.C., there was a, an Italian deli uh, wholesaler. Um, that a class line of a high school class line of mine was was the owner because his father had owned it and then he had passed and he took it over. But in the back they had the um, the the deli section where the with the old the old men were making the sandwiches and you there's usually three guys there. There was a young guy, you know, like a, an older guy, and then there was Grandpa who was about eighty. And Grandpa moved at the um, you know the speed of uh, it, as slow as you can go, he'd turn and go. 
You just prayed. <laughs> you just prayed when you got to the get the sandwich that you weren't going to make your sandwich. But it was the same the same way. The, the, it, it, Mike D. Francesi was his name, um, and and so I forget. The, I can't even remember the guy's name. But that's how they talk. Yeah. What do you want? What do you got? What do you got? Hey. Yeah. Hey, um, you but you didn't want Grandpa making your sandwich because then you'd be there all day. Yeah. Uh, Marie says y'all need more olives. Yeah. Oh, they, yeah. yeah. They had they had the cured olives. Oh my god. Yeah. But you wanted that. I said court. He says, "Don't you want to know the price?" I said, "Fill it." <laughs> Adventures of Kenny and Debbie. How you doing? What's up, Kenny? How you doing? Uh, yeah, it was it was pretty it was pretty funny though because and then we went I went we trumpet went, master. We went a couple weeks ago. We went to a place. Uh, that had some uh, music there. We went uh, listened to this guy and everything. But like the concept out here is uh, a deli, restaurant, and then a bar, like in you know three nice. different sections. Yeah. <laughs> So you can sit down, you can order off the menu, or you can get stuff from the deli. You know what I mean? And I'll tell you what, I had I had the, uh, uh, it was like a caprese salad. It was almost uh, not quite the way I would call it, but, uh, and there again, see, I got to be careful with balsamic vinegar. So I said, can you make it with red wine? Yeah, no problem. Okay. Dude, and you go on Friday night, I'm there. <clears throat> Send me a text, tell me you're going to do it if you're doing it too, because I'll come on with you. Dude says he's got a bail. He's bailing. Okay. Who you, bail, who you bailing out? And how much bail you, is it? How Great to see you, bailing? dude. <clears throat> All right. Sounds good, buddy. Yep. Take care, man. <clears throat> yeah. So, I mean, even the prices were pretty good. I mean, because a lot of places you go to out here, I forget it. You know, you just they didn't want to rob you with it. But, uh, but yeah, there's a, there's a lot of, a lot of good places that, uh, there's three that I know of that I found in this in this one place. But as soon as you walk in, I mean, they got everything everything you would want you would see in Staten Island or 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 you know uh, Manhattan or Long Island and stuff like that. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> uh, Raquel, the the balsamic vinegar has a lot of carbs in it. It's got sugar. It's sugar in it. It's carby. It's uh, it's really the only, it's a. I can't think of another vinegar that's got that's that way. Can you? Well, of course, it's processed. It's cooked. Right. Down. It's cooked down with the sugars in it. From, right. You know, and I, I don't know of another vinegar that has that problem. All the rest of them are pretty. They're good for you. I mean, they're they're not bad. Red wine vinegar is okay, and yep. also apple cider vinegar. Yeah. Uh, to use. Hey, Will, how you doing? The evil Texan is here. He's yeah. So I mean, good to see you. That's that's Charlie. That's the other the other end of it, right there. I've been doing a lot of olives. Okay. Um, yeah. And. and I remember, I remember Marie's uncle. Okay, at the end of the dinner, okay, they come out and have a little cheese. The daughter would make them. Here you go, Pop. Okay, and he had a glass of wine, and he would take the romaine lettuce, and he'd pour the wine up into the romaine lettuce and eat it. And that's where he would eat it. Drink a little bit of wine out of it and eat it down. But it's, but it's all. You know what it is? It's like keeping busy. Like you know what I mean? You never stop eating. But you didn't eat a lot. You didn't sit down with a big bowl of mashed potatoes, chew no. down a big steak. And, it was always moving, you know, a little, little bit of pasta they would have and bring out Creamy. the next course. Yeah. And just keep going, keep going. That's, that's exactly how I remember, uh, my, you know, like my teen years and stuff like that. All my friends were Italian. So you go over to the house and they'd have all the, you know, well, come on, have a little pepperoncino. Come on. Come on. Ooh, yeah. I, I think mothers universally are, especially the, uh, from a, that, an older generation, they they have them come into your house. Oh, it, it, you come home to see mama, and oh, you're looking so skinny. Come on, sit down. I'll fix you something to eat. I don't care what they are, Italian, Southern, Southern mamas, Lord, they'll, but they it's going to be the mashed potatoes, the mac and cheese. Only place in the world you can go where mac and cheese is a vegetable is right down here. <laughs> hey, you get the. I'm telling you. There are folks will argue with you about it here. They'll say it's on the vegetable platter. It's. A I, I drew the lima gabazelle. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Go. What's wrong with that? With the eyeballs in, and your grandfather be looking. Hey, come on. Hey, Irishman. Hey, Mac. He pop uh, the eyeball on his mouth. See, I've had, I've had goat. I love goat. Goat head, brains. I've had that. I've had brains and eggs. I drew the line. So sorry. Back to, back to being Irish. 
<laughs> Mountain oysters. Mountain oysters. Okay. You ever had them? I have not had them now. You need I'm city to. boy. You need to. You but need but that's to. that's Sally eating. You know, getting some of the cold cuts. Some some good stuff. Uh, Charlie, let me hear it. Is it gabagool or gabagool? Gabagool. Gabagool. Yeah, hey, gabagool. Yeah. What's gabagool? Uh, Coca Cola. Yeah, Coca Cola. You mean gab gabagool? <laughs> gabagool. Yeah. Add that to the list. Yeah. Cooking with Bobby Joe. Cooking with Bobby Joe. Who's here? Man, you know, I. Yeah, I'm on, we're going to probably have leftovers tomorrow night. I've got leftover soup and I've got leftover uh, skillet taco or Yum. taco skillet, whatever. <clears throat> and I'm going to probably do, we'll probably make a taco salad out of it. Well, I was, I was down for a couple of days and so Marie, Marie took over the kitchen. So uh, getting this thing taken out was like, yeah, was what, it as rough as think, the last one? Huh? Was it as rough as the last one? It, yeah, this one was in a bad place. I couldn't. I can't sleep. I'm having a rough time sleeping. So even with and, this one, you can't sleep. Yeah. So because I know the last one, you couldn't because you couldn't lay on your back. Yeah. So now um, she says, "Well, in a couple of days, this time they stitch it. The other one in the back, they didn't stitch. So this one, they threw a couple of stitches in. But uh, I, I don't think it's any problems or anything else like that. They didn't seem too concerned about it. So did the one on the on your back finally heal up? Yeah. Yeah, that took really a long good. time. Yeah. yeah, it took a long time. This one, she said, "Do you want to see it?" I said, "Yeah." I said, oh, "Put a little egg and flour on that bad boy. Drop it in the, <laughs> in the, in the grease. Put it in the grease." That's that's how we got talking. Matter of fact, she she subbed to me. She's all to right. Check you. Yeah, she had to check you out. She had to. Oh, you already caught me. I mean, not. <laughs> so, but so uh, Charlie. Yes. <clears throat> how about uh? Going back to my childhood, and my, one of my friends, the grandmother used to make pepper and egg sandwiches. Pepper and egg sandwich? Pepper and egg, hot peppers, okay? Scrambled egg, olive oil, and we put it on a hard, crispy roll. I said, oh, my God. Come on, manjari. Come on, manjari. That's the New Jersey oh. Italians. And you bite into that thing, the grease would drip out <laughs> I like the the pepper relish um, that it's ubiquitous with in sandwich shops now for uh, subs and stuff. But that was very common um, condiment in our house for uh, all kinds of Italian, mostly subs and sandwiches mm -hmm. and stuff. And I still love it to this day. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, I love pepper. I eggs. love the pickled peppers. Oh yeah. Yeah, we we I eat an awful lot of peppers, awful awful lot of hot peppers, and I, I can't I can't find the Italian uh, long hots out here. I can't find them anywhere. Uh, oh, we used to I we used to get them when I worked in clubs. You know the big uh, number ten uh, cans of yeah hot peppers and uh, pepperoncini and um, I can't. They put them on the they put them on the buffet and no one would touch them. <laughs> no kidding. I'm as White Bread Country Club in Rockville, Maryland. Oh it's man! Not, you know, it wasn't an Italian club in you know in New York. It was or Hoboken. <laughs> you know, no, it wasn't. It was. See, I'd have gotten some of them. I'd have put it on something like a. I'd have put it on meat or something and did it that way and had like pepper, pepper with the meat. Mm -hmm. Now I just found I just found in in um, this Asian market now they have Maryland blue blue claw, blue crabs. Ooh, they got a, I mean, a oh. ton of them. I think it was, I think they were selling them for seven ninety nine a pound. What? Yeah. Yeah. seven ninety nine mm. a pound. In fact, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do them when I go there. I'm going to make a, I'm going to smuggle in the camera and take a, take a picture of it. But they also have galamad. They also have, uh, I can get the fresh galamad. Also, I can get um, the frozen three pound box. Are the, are these fresh crabs or is this crab meat? Fresh. At seven ninety nine a pound. Yeah, you pick them up. Yeah, pick them up the claw, and I grabbed them. And there was like four or five of them because I'm going to make sure they were fresh. And well, uh, that it, is as cheap uh, as I've never heard. 
I mean, you should, you go to crowd places in, in the DC area now and you're spending, you know, 50, 60 bucks for a dozen crabs. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and what, what make cracks me up is I'll go to the sprouts up here and, you know, for, for uh, fresher vegetables and stuff like that. Okay. And you pay through the nose. Yeah. Go to this Asian market over here. Same stuff. Much lower price. I, you know, now I think about when we were in Cincinnati, we used to have crab feasts and we'd order them from the Vietnamese market. And for somehow they got it at a cheaper price than everybody. Um, I don't know how, but it, and it's good. It lasts a long time in your fridge. I, I grew up, we, we had a place on the Eastern shore off Chesapeake Bay and we used to go crabbing. We would go out and, you know, get our crab nets and go over to the posts on the docks. And that's where the crabs would, would latch onto. And you just could zip them up with your, with your net and that's mm -hmm. my grandmother said go out and catch your dinner yeah and she we'd bring them back and she'd make uh if they're soft shells that was the best um, yeah well yeah full, you tell me when they get soft shells you only get those about see that i don't go there that much so i don't know how how long the soft shells six I, weeks where to, you know where to get getting them from i mean so it's six weeks in the summer that's it yeah yeah so I mean, I wouldn't trust it coming from, especially if they're getting from the East Coast. I wouldn't, you know. <clears throat> no, they, they might be soft, but they would taste like crap. <laughs> no, I would. Yeah, if you're if you're eating soft shell crabs in December, it's yeah, it's that's dicey. Yes, yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But I tell you what, they also have uh, uh, oysters. They got uh, hey, crabby. They got big mussels and stuff like that. There, they're quite a quite a quite Stone a lot of good outdoors. Stuff. So all you people. There's a lot of people that I don't recognize. So if you um, if you connect with me, I will connect back. Um, just drop me a, a note of Cooking Secrets for Men. Um, I mean, there's a lot of people there that I'm just I'm looking at the names. When the dude went away, I didn't know anybody. So yeah, the uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot, lot of good lot of good channels in here. Um, lot of, lot of great channels, matter of fact. Yes. We go back go back and forth with everybody. That's a, another thing I'm going to start doing is uh, I'm going to start doing, I don't know if I'm going to do it on Fridays or not yet. I'm still still working. I'll probably get to January. In January, I'm going to do a giveaway for, for my uh, thousand and my and my uh, also my four thousand. Uh, get monetized and stuff. So I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a nice giveaway uh, for people who are, are, are subbed. But then what I want to start doing is I'm going to start bringing up different channels that I'm subbed to. And I want to do not a hot seat. I want to just, you know, like, like with Mike. Okay. How me and Mike met. met okay. What his channel's about. All right. Because mm -hmm. uh, it all boils down to one thing. No matter what you do, we all eat. Yeah. Everybody's got to have something to eat or they cook it a certain way. And I'm going to probably just do it for an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. I don't want to bore the hell out of everybody. But I, there's a lot of people that I want to bring up and just, just chat with. Rather than do these free for all, they have uh, live streams and just, you know, get everybody together. Then every once in a while, I'd like to do a, a live cook. There's, you know, you know adventures, say, with, with, adventures with Mikhail, life, uh, life Adventures and Keto with Michelle. You yep. know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. She does that. She does that every week. She'll do an interview with somebody and then basically just get them to tell about themselves on the channel and that yeah. kind of stuff. As a matter of fact, I'm on with her next Tuesday night. Not, nothing with you know nothing about keto or anything like that but the common the common thread with everybody that i have is they eat everybody yeah. eats so you know um i had a ginger from uh nothing um not for nothing not, not for nothing, nothing homestead um she, sent, she was nice enough to send me a little care package with some spices and a towel and or a sticker but in our conversations back and forth um she's part of the olive oil club. So we were both kind of looking forward to being involved in the olive oil collab. So that's, that's the next thing what I'm going to do is uh, matter of fact, she was the last one to get the olive oil bottle for this year. So uh, we're going to start it again next. Here, you got to understand how this works. Okay. I drink the wine. Marie paints the wine, <laughs> the bottles. So you have the harder job. Yeah. And she says to me, Put that glass down. You had enough. We need three more bottles. <laughs> <coughs> I promise these bottles. But, but, you know, she's a fellow Georgian. Yeah. Yeah. Mud and mascara also. 
Yeah. So what I want to do is I'm going to, I want to come up with, with something where I don't want to, uh, you know, put everybody together. We might do two or three every month, have do a collab. Okay. And uh, then at the end of the year, we'll, we'll put all the collabs together and then uh, we'll, we'll come up with something to do you know, another, another, some kind of prize or whatever like that, but it's the olive oil club. So, um, well, and I, it's, I, I appreciate the creativity and the, thinking of different ways to do this because you and I have talked about this um, and no offense to anybody online who this may offend, but you know, how many different ways can you cook chicken wings? Exactly. 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 This is the, to me, this is interesting. Um, It's just, it's a different way to interact. Mm -hmm. It's, it gets you thinking a little bit. It's not the same old, same old. That's fun. Sharing ideas, sharing, you know, life experiences, Uh getting to know people. Because not everybody not everybody cooks the same or or no. or, or, or does the same stuff. So I mean, and and basically what it was was uh, the, the the loyalty that I got from from everybody. Okay, I never thought I'd be here where I'm at. All right, and that that's what it was. Show my appreciation for people reaching out to me and, and boosting me up the the way everybody did. So I mean, there's people that have olive oil bottles that don't cook. So. You know, I'll- show you i i have had comments because i will when i'm tasting the food i believe i'm a firm believer taste what you're making because you, you got to know what it tastes like to know whether or not it's worth, worth going out to eat for people to eat so i i'll taste it and i might use the same spoon again and and they'll say i've had comments you use that same spoon now somebody i said and I've got where I say on there hey i did use the same spoon it's just me and my wife and she don't care so <laughs> Don't be leaving any comments. Don't leave uh, yeah, those are the fun ones. Will, Will's got a good. Will also has a good channel, Evil Texan. Yeah, I apparently offended him with his with the chicken. He said nobody stands up for the chicken breast. <laughs> <laughs> that's because everybody's eating the bonus ones now. There's no bones; it can't stand yeah. up. Yeah, see, that's, stand up. that's the other thing. I, I go to the Chinese market and I tell them, hey. Give me the, the thighs and with the bone and skin on. That's what I want. Damn it. Everything, well, can't have this, can't have that. Oh, somebody had told me the other day, and I, I was like mortified. They said, you eat an awful lot of butter. Aren't you worried about your cholesterol? No. Not at all. What are you, nuts? Yeah. Wake up out of that coma you're in, for crying out loud. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Too funny. Cooking with Bobby Joe. Hello, how you doing? Well, Rand, Randy Shifter says she, he, he loves breasts, so we know yeah. Randy, Randy's a breast man. Yeah, you know, it's a lot of great good people. for Randy. I mean, yeah, a lot, a lot of great people out there. I mean, and if you weren't doing this, you wouldn't know half of them. I mean, well, probably wouldn't know any of them. Right. You know, wasn't doing this. So I don't. I don't I think when I started, it was you know, it was my two sons and my wife and my next door neighbor. Were the only ones that had any idea that I was, you know, doing it, and the videos were just as bad. To, uh, you know, so I, that's probably why no one else was watching. But yeah, you're right. We wouldn't meet these people. Wouldn't know. When, when I first started out doing this right here, I think I had ten or fifteen people. I think half of them were my relatives. I stopped talking to a couple of them. They they unfriended me. <laughs> so so I went to back down to ten. Uh, too funny. <coughs> Well, yeah. you know, Bob cooking with Bobby Joe says, yeah, she doesn't understand why people care about the way you're eating it because they're not eating it. So then people with their hand washing comments too. I'm like, you know, I'm washing my hands. Yeah, in the middle of keto, I felt like I, I mean, keto, the, the middle of COVID, I felt like I had to wear gloves when I was handling yeah. meat just because I was getting comments. Yeah. And, you know, you're touching that chicken and then you're done. So, if I'm eating yeah. it, what do you care? Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> I, I, I'm not I serving been, it to you. I'm not. <laughs> I had one person said to me, "I'm not serving to you because you do keto." Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, we'll talk to you later, there, pal. <laughs> I mean, I don't give a ass one way or the other. I got. I have one where I did a video. They were, uh, they're vegan apparently, and they because their channel was something about vegan, and I was doing something with meat, and they said You're murder comment and murder about it and and i'm like okay don't watch don't eat don't eat it go do you yeah yeah 
I mean, it's it's uh, eh, whatever, you know. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I don't. I think what, I, I, matter of fact, what I started doing now is I'm starting to make my videos a little bit longer, because I was told by somebody who's been doing this for a while that hey, you know what? If you're showing somebody how to do something, make the video. Don't chop it out. I, I a while back I did. I was making a hollandaise sauce. Okay. <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> I, I butchered that thing. I edited it so, so much. I might as well open a package and do it. You, you know what I mean? The way I started it. Just because somebody had said, oh, your videos are too long. So that got into my head. So I'm trying to do something. No more. No more. So now I'm just going to take my time. If you want to watch it, you watch it. And if you want to watch three seconds of it, knock yourself out. And and that's basically how I'm, I'm, I'm going to treat it from that one. But I mean, there is... There is some people out there that really do want to watch or really do want to see what's going on with it. So, uh, Evil Texan says, send a vegan son his way because he's got a vegan brisket. <laughs> Here's the way I look at it. My re- All right, cows eat grass, right? They're vegan. They're vegan. I eat cows. So, therefore, I'm vegan by proxy. I, you know what? I don't, I don't judge anybody. That's where you want to eat. Knock yourself out. I'm happy. Amen. For you. Okay. If it's Amen. making you feel good, if you're losing weight, you get, you know, there, there's a guy named Dr. Cousins, Gabriel Cousins, who I started watching a while back. And he's out here somewhere in Arizona, up mm-hmm. in the hills in Arizona. And he's got this camp that he, he has people come in. And he actually takes type 2 diabetics and a couple type 1 diabetics. And in, I think it's 10 days, reverses their complete history of diabetes. Re- takes them off all the medications. But they got to stick to it. That's that's the only thing. They got to stick to it. Well, so, I mean, and, and nine times out of 10, all his stuff is all vegetarian. So, I mean, yeah, it, work, it works for certain people. It works, you know. You know I, believe, I believe if God had intended us not to eat meat, he would have made animals run faster. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Exactly. Or, or, or lower the flash point on the, on the bullet. Right. Hey, um, I got to, unfortunately, got to duck out. Of my, I got a, my AV guy coming to help me figure out how to broadcast out in our community room. Um, yep. He just he just flashed me in. So been a blast. Charlie, I appreciate it very much. Absolutely, the man, Charlie. We'll see you around. Have a great e- rest of the evening. Everybody online, if you want to connect, just send me a, drop me a, a note or whatever, connect on Cooking Six for Men, and I'll cook, uh, can, uh, connect right back. So, Charlie, Char- 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 can I call you Paisan now? See. Si. Drop Charlie's <laughs> link, please, for me. <laughs> okay. And right, Marie's going to drop you up. Oh, that's, that's Ben. Can you let him in? Cool. All right, guys. Got to roll. All right, Charlie, All thank right. you. See y'all. All right, appreciate Buenos it. Buenos aires. Buenos aires. Senorita, kiss me goodnight. <sighs> yeah, so... <clears throat> I'm not going to stay too much longer, Mike, because uh, I got to go take a. Oh, you got to dress it. You got to dress it. Yeah, I got to change it out. And yeah. They put some kind of, they stitched it and they put some kind of plastic stuff over it. And she oh, said, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I can't that get that, can't get that wet. So. Right. I don't know. Yeah, I've seen that stuff before. Um, they've gotten to where they don't do stitches anymore. They do the either the glue or they do the stereo strips. Which, yeah, they, she didn't glue it. No, that's pretty. He got seventy-one watch hours, ten seconds short tonight. Wow, how many views was that, uh, Will? Wow! Holy moly! Seventy-one watch hours out of a ten seconds short. Wow. Well, you figure it six <laughs> in a minute, six in a minute. So there's uh, six times sixty. That's uh, just under twenty thousand. You got okay. I was gonna say yeah. That's three six times sixty, three sixty times seventy one. So all the all them shorts that I had that I put up there with music on it, isn't that? They don't count because there's a third there. It's a third party. Oh with wow! Music. Yeah. She, yep. when he, uh, handicapped right. traveler says when he was in college there were protesters at a restaurant and butcher the butcher with animal rights yeah i mean that's crazy you know, they, they, you know and it's yeah that, that makes sense. 
vegetable rights. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Rich, how you doing? Canadian fisher musician. Great guy right there. He did a, a video the other day where he was playing a song, and it was really pretty. I liked it. Yeah, he's, he's a really good musician. He really is. 54, so he got 54 subs from that 10 second short. Wow. And the whole idea now, you got to make sure they, they stick. Yeah. That's that's the problem. Holy moly. So, Mike, this is what I'm talking about. Like Friday, what I'll do, uh, I'll get a hold of Evil, evil Texan. See if he wants to come up 45 minutes go. or an hour. Yeah. And just talk about his channel, how we how we connect it, and uh, go from there. Okay. Well, Text me so I know you're doing it, so I, I can go. Watch, I can come in and watch because I'm. Yeah. If I'm doing something, I forget about seeing what's on live and all. I'll, I'll Paige and I may be watching TV or something like that, and I, yeah. if I know there's a live, I want to watch because you never know when some, there's some folks go on with regular time slot lives, and I can't keep up with whose lives are when. Mm -hmm. If you got a lot of them that just pop up, you know, it's hard enough for me to keep up when we do this live. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna have I'll, I'm gonna have you up. You still sub to me, right? Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. I'm subbed. I'm subbed. Unless you block me. <laughs> uh, too funny. Too funny. Yeah, it's it. Charlie, you know, Charlie brings a lot to the table. You know, with it. Uh, you know, the way he cooks and stuff like that. The amount of people that that oh, he's yeah. you know encountered with and. Uh, and he, when he's cooking, that you can look, watch him. Just watch. If you have not watched his channel, watch it and watch his cooking. That man knows what he is doing with with cooking. He is a he is a culinary genius, and you can see it in his cooking. He he is extremely knowledgeable in it. That's right, Heidi. I'm I'm with you with that one. But yeah, I mean, so I I thought when we talked about it, you know, it'd be a good idea to come up and. Uh, I mean, it's, everybody has different thoughts on it. You know what I mean? Uh, some people are staunch, but uh, either they're um, ketovore or carnivore or, or vegan or whatever. Everybody has their, their own way of doing things. There again, moderation. Mm -hmm. Know what know what affects you. Yeah. Okay? And eat accordingly. So, you exactly. don't have to sit there and stuff your face all day and all night. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's. I mean, you think about how much like salad, if you got salad or greens or, you know, how much it's going to take for you to, for it to have an adverse effect on you. <laughs> it's going to take a lot. Yeah. You're going to get full before you ever get to that point. But there again, I'm not, well, I am not, um, I am not saying not see the, the jury still out whether what I'm doing. Okay. As far as eating, Mediterranean and add meat to it because that's that's totally against not according to Hoyle. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Our treasure at home, y'all have a good one and God bless you too. Stay safe. Take care, Nancy. Yeah, she's been yes. participating in that outdoor cooking deal with the mm -hmm. uh, the camp thing that Johnny did and um, uh, Indian Hemlock has done. And a couple of others I know that done it too, and he he she did it, and God bless her because I know she has health issues where she can't go out and do it, but she did it, and it was she, what she did was great. She Dude. can't eat a lot of stuff either. She's, she's right. highly allergic, and so right. is so uh, Anastasia, the, the little girl, granddaughter. Right, right. Yeah, evil tech, take care, done. brother. Will's a good guy. Will's got it. Will's got a great channel. Take care, Will. Will. Will <laughs> Will did that one chip challenge. Okay? I, I, I'm sub to his channel now. He, I gotta, I gotta well, he, go watch some of his videos. He switched because he's gonna be firing steel. Yeah, he changed okay. it now to evil Texan. Okay. But, uh, yeah, he. I mean, he's got a, he's got a couple of great uh, barbecue pits and and uh, knows what he's doing. He, he got a nice got a nice place where he's at. Was it Indian Hemlock that did it recently? Or? The video he did with the camp stove and all, and he was cooking, mm -hmm. and he did a, a pizza, and uh, he had a pot belly stove out there that he was doing it on, and man, he had see. him a roaring fire going. I didn't see that one. It, I'm telling you, it was hot. 
<laughs> that was one hot pistol of a fire. I just see Tony come in from uh, Stone Wolf Outdoors. Tony. Yeah. He's got a great channel, too. He uh, does a lot of camping. In fact, I think, believe he's in Arizona right now. Hey, Alan. Alan's awesome keto world. Alan, how you doing, partner? Yeah, so, I mean, that's what I'm doing, Mike. I got I got my, did a couple videos on it uh, with the Mediterranean stuff, mixing things up here and there. And uh, like I said, already dropped two pounds. There you go. And uh, much easier cooking. You don't have to go through the whole rigmarole stuff. Yeah. Uh, he's in Yuma, Arizona right now. So, yeah, uh, we're going to give it a try. Uh, then I go to the doctor and I'm going to get my blood work done. And uh, see how this way here turns it a little bit. And it's really no different than what I've been doing. It's just I'm making making smaller meals is what basically right. what, what right. works out to be. Uh, almost like almost like uh, like hors d'oeuvres type of thing. Only you know in that realm. Stone Wolf says he's out in Hume, Arizona, right now. Yep, he's camping out there. I got to connect with your channel. He's got he's got some good stuff. He's got some good stuff. Kirby Somebody, let me see if I I can go over and drop my link, um, so I he can folks can connect. If uh, if I hadn't if you leave a message or and come see me and leave the thing, I'll I'll connect with you so I know you watched. Yeah, so I uh, to get over there. <clears throat> and and Mike about that other that other issue that we had last week. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I checked further into it, and uh, that that is a problem. I'm sure. Yeah, that is a problem. So he's uh, yeah. That's that. It, yeah, I believe it. So anyway, well, you know what? One forty-seven. I think. How you feel about close sh closing up shop tonight? Yeah, let that. I put in keto. Let's there. Yeah, it, it popped up. It. it popped up, y'all. So, if anybody that I haven't connected with, if you want to hit on that link and and do it, I will come see you and I'll do the same. Yeah, we got to get Mike over a thousand. We got to get him up there. Where you at now, Mike? Seven. Thanks, Crabby. Uh, seven twenty-six. Seven twenty-six. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And the watch hours are not great. They're they're way better than they used to be. I was way under a thousand, and now I'm up. I'm over a thousand. Uh, I think I got 1,100, 1,200 watch hours. Yeah, we well, let, me get look, let me look and see what it says. I've got in watch hours right now for monetization. We got to get you picked up a little bit. Let's see. And there again, I mean, I got 1,154 watch hours, but I mean, for the longest time, I was only around five or six hundred. But now I'm I'm moved up. Good. Good. Now I'm learning a little bit more now about with this, you know, with the monetization. I mean, they they double check. I got four or five videos that they wouldn't, they will not monetize because might have me doing a shot of whiskey in it. Uh, said something uh, at at a tune that they didn't care for. Raquel, thank you so much. So they didn't Everybody. like it that you had whiskey in a video. Yeah. Everybody well, else, I, please I check guess. out Raquel uh, Cottonwood Ranch too. Great channel. Uh, yeah, I watched. She put up one the other day. It was 40, 45 minutes, and she was worried about people watching and stuff. I thought it was great. I did. That's, I saw that. That's I the kind of stuff I like to watch. I mean, yeah. good night, Raquel. Yeah, it's good. Go, go bundle up. You're cold. It's going to be cold up there. Yes. <laughs> My, as as the old saying goes, uh, you're going to have a three dog night. Yep. It would make me want to sing right away. How can people be so happy? Yeah. There you go. I don't know. Well, I was I was shocked and I see Paige come on. I said, Oh man. Uh, yeah, because she said, Can I go in and log on for you and let and let him know that you're coming? And I said, Yeah, go for it. She said, That ought to shake him up. And I'll have to tell her it did. Yeah, because I yeah, was in the yeah. middle of doing something. I'd she Raquel, and Raquel said now she she just said she has to delete some of her lives because people are drinking in it. 
They, I did one my St. Patty's Day one. I said to the dude, to the shot of uh, Irish whiskey, and they, they won't monetize it. So I'm not that I'm well, going to take mean, it down. You don't I have just, to worry about taking it down. You just won't get any money from it. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, there was a, there was one other two other one I chopped the meat in half, and they didn't think they didn't think that was appropriate. Or, so you know what? Here's the deal. You're working for them. I mean, we're we're putting up videos and stuff, but it's their platform. I, and I got a lot of videos that they put ads on. A lot of them. Um, Marie said today she'd watch the one because I just got monetized yesterday. So they put uh they put one up and it had six, seven ads on it. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I, I think every one of my egg life videos have ads. <laughs> I'm pretty sure every one of them do. Yeah. You know, we're going to go till nine. We got nine more, nine more minutes and we'll shut it down at two. Okay. That'll work. If you don't mind. No, I don't mind that at all. Cause I need to start winding down for the night. Cause it's, yeah. that's, let's see. That'll be what? Five o'clock your time. It's eight o'clock my time. Yeah. Do you have dinner already? Nope. <sighs> Did not. Don't know if I'm gonna eat or not. Probably not. Oh, yeah, Paige just yeah. had a Paige had some uh the, that skillet taco. That video's coming out soon. Um, but see, <laughs> I made a video last night where Paige was made, showing how she makes a drink that she has, <laughs> and now I know it's fixing to. I know they're gonna have problems with it because it's got tequila in it. Mike, I had we Marie we have this one pepper plant now. Okay, this is its third year. That we're bringing it inside the house. This oh, joke wow. is this joke is a little over six foot. Okay, a six I mean, foot pepper plant. <laughs> yeah, I swear to God. And Marie brought it in, and every day she's picking up leaves because the leaves are falling off it. All of a sudden, this thing's popping out peppers. And it didn't look. Oh, you got an you got an encore pepper plant. So yeah. <laughs> Holy <laughs> <hell. laughs> so. So tonight, Marie made some truffles, and I had made homemade sausage the other day. So she said, how about if I make some sausage and then put them on chops? Yeah, no problem. She cut one of them little peppers up. Boy, I tell you what, I'd like to light me up, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm, I I love jalapeno. I really do. Uh, but it's, you know, it's, um, it may not be fire going down, but there'll be fire in the hole. If you know what I mean. <laughs> oh yeah, gotcha. Yeah, without a and doubt. I, but I, there's been some of them here lately. That my lord, I'm like, that's what is these hot doggone jalapeno coming from? And then, and then the other, the other two plants that she brought in with jalapenos in them. Okay, they're thriving. As a matter of fact, they're starting to bud inside the house. I can't, it's, <laughs> I, I can't understand it. I really can't. I, I <laughs> you know, I mean, these were like. Uh, hotter. What's I'm trying to think of the peppers that are above that, or right above uh, a couple Habaneros. of others above. There you go. That's the one I'm thinking of. Habaneros, yeah. They're as hot as those. And I'm wow. like, these are jalapenos. They're not supposed to be that hot. I like habanero now. Don't get me wrong, but I'm real picky about them. I <laughs> eat them in moderation because they they attack me. You know, you're going to pay for them either in the beginning or the end. You know? <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, Raquel, Cottonwood Ranch, I am going to be in touch with you. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to get your email. I'm going to send you an email. Uh, after January, I want to start doing on Fridays, I'm going to start doing uh, people that I'm sub to uh, to come on. Probably just going to do for an hour or, or less. Oh, God bless you, Mike. Me. Thank you. And, uh, you know, about your, about your channel and stuff like that. And, and uh, I think it would be a pretty good idea. Yeah, we'll get a hold. I'll get a hold of you. So we're going to try to do it throughout the year. So, uh, Krubby, the way it works is we alternate weeks. Next week it'll be my week on Wednesday night at six o'clock Eastern time here in the U.S. Uh, three o'clock in in uh, Las Vegas that uh, we do this, and so uh, this is his Tom's week this week. Next week will be my week. Mm -hmm. We alternate weeks. Unless one of us has something going, then we just, whoever can do it, does it. Yep. <clears throat> that, that's how the lives work. We haven't had, uh, the, the, the live I'm going to do with Michelle, 
where she does that. She's going to interview me. Basically what you're talking about doing is an interview. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, uh, that's going to be next Tuesday night at seven o'clock Eastern time. I, I, I'm not sure what that translates into at your time. Four. No, no, not you. I'm talking about. Oh, Krubby. For Krubby. Yeah. Cause I know he's over in India. Yep. Yeah. I think it'd be a good idea to, to uh, just to get nothing, nothing serious. Uh, just to talk, you know, just, uh, you know, how you got started, you know, and the whole bit, why, you know, and how we connect it and stuff right. like that. Yeah. Uh, and, and then about your channel, you know, what you're trying to do, what your goals are and stuff like that. But cause I, like I said before, we all are related through food, no matter how you mm -hmm. add it up. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I think it'd be pretty cool. And yeah. you're, you're on the list too there, Alan. <laughs> Alan's got a great channel. Yeah, his did. channel has took off. Yeah, it sure did. It sure did. In the did. last year, it has gone crazy. How yeah. he, you have gotten so many subs and so many watch hours, Alan, in the last year. It, it is a uh, you. You are a uh, walking testament to how to do YouTube. Whatever you're doing is working. Yeah. Yep. Certainly is really, and that see that's the key to it. That's the key to the whole thing. <clears throat> you got to do what the people want. Yeah. So. Because I think he, I think he, aren't you over 3K, Alan? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, it sure is. In fact, Saturday, he had his, I had, I had to go early uh, from it, but he had, he had his giveaway on, on, uh, for 3K. Oh, wow. Yeah. We were, I've been missing a lot of lives because we've had <laughs> stuff going when it was on. I'm so far behind because I'm, I'm trying, I was trying to get going. What I did was, you know, I was on with Sheena and stuff like that. And Sheena really pushed. Pushed really hard to get me over the top. Thirty-three seventy—that's how many he's got. Wow! Yeah. Uh, so it was going I, on at night with with Sheena, and then and then I was missing other ones during the day, and I'm just and then trying to put up videos, and then my camera blew up. Uh, Krabby, that uh, it's gonna—it's not gonna be on my channel. It's gonna be on uh, Michelle's channel. It's Life Adventures and Keto. That's the name of her channel. So I'll try to share that her link for it when she puts it out uh on my channel on my community page so that it can come up and folks can see where it is but she's got just go find her channel she's got a great channel she does a lot of these interviews uh life adventures and keto michelle is her name and she she's got a really good channel Sometimes she's in here when she can uh, has internet service because she's uh when she's at work she can use some of the uh, she goes into houses and does work in houses for folks. Where is she where can, is she located at, Mike? Around Nashville, Tennessee area. Oh, okay. And she uh she where she lives she says I as she puts it I'm out in the boondocks and I don't I don't have service you know so she said yeah. when I, if I want to do something I got to do it before I get home. Too, too, too funny. She, uh, she, she does have a good channel. She's got a good sense of humor too. Also, she really does, really mm -hmm. does. You can't be, you can't be too thin skinned with, with doing YouTube here because some, some people come back. That's why I didn't, I didn't do anything with uh, uh, TikTok. I, I thought the venue was a little too young for me. Um, it's, to put up with some of that kind of crazy mm -hmm. talk and stuff like that. And yep. So I said, you know what? I got enough on my plate just dealing with. Uh, and hey, gonna, any more? Any more about your million on uh, Instagram? Uh, no, no, it's at uh one point one, and I'm still getting. I'll get twenty or thirty likes a day on there. That's, that's insane. That's yeah, absolutely insane. You know, and there, uh, you know, it's calmed down a lot, but it, but Instagram just hit me up and told me they've got a new program called uh, uh, bonuses. And they said, you're eligible for the bonuses. Wow. And what you do is you sign up for it. And during this bonus time period that they do the bonuses, if you put up five reels, you'll get $50. And okay. then uh, the next time, you have to have $100 to cash it in. And then they'll have, they say, we'll have other times where we do the bonus period. And you put up five then and you get more and such as that. Oh, he's got, oh, Alan's got Seattle Seafire. 
uh, uh, Sapphire coming on his channel Saturday on the live. I got to oh, try cool. and watch that because she's, uh, I, I love her. Aretha is great. She is great. Now, yeah. I want to promote somebody else's channel here while I'm at it. She's not in here, but it's Alan's daughter, uh, Keto Mama Michelle. Yeah. She, I'm telling you, she has come a long way with keto and doing keto, has lost a lot of weight. And yeah, she she's, knows what she's, she's really good. She knows what she's doing. She can <laughs> cook some serious good stuff. And, you know, and, and, uh, so check her channel out, Keto Mama <laughs> Michelle. I like when she's cooking with the kids and the kids are all Oh, right. yeah. She just molds right through, not a problem. She'll have one on her hip and the other one trying to stir yeah, stuff in. I love it. And she's just right there going along. And and it's and I'm loving it. I'm like, this is great. You know, this is great. Partner, I'm going to pull the plug, brother. All right. All I'm going to change my bandage and kick back. But it's not, it took the wind out of my cell. This, this Tell Marie to kiss it and make it well. Yeah, yeah, with a bat she'll hit me with. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank everybody for coming in. I want to thank Charlie for, for doing what yes. he did tonight. I appreciate it very much. Yes, uh, everybody, everybody that thank helped you. push thank me you, get over you, the top. You, thank you. I really do appreciate it. Now it's my turn to give back. So, All right, everybody, take care. Thank you. Mike, well, I'll be talking to you, buddy. All right, take care, man. Okay, Help, bye -bye. Fast healing, fast healing. Yes, thank you. All righty, good night. You know what I got to remember? To shut it off. <laughs> and broadcast. All right, man. Thanks, everybody. Take care. All right. Take care.